Hello, I am Jordan Brown and I will be hosting Chemistry's Life's episode on deer antlers. Deer antlers are bone formations that are found on the top of the deer's head. Awesome. Basically, they grow and shed a new pair each year and they go through a similar process every time. Now imagine yourself a young male deer, strange, right? But just, just bear with me. But imagine yourself as that deer and you're walking around and it's about March, April time and you don't, you don't have the antlers yet. But this is about the time when you're gonna start growing them. You're gonna be able to begin growing these antlers due to the extra exposure to the light. The extra exposure to the light is alerting the pineal gland to activate the pituitary gland to produce the hormone prolactin. But along with the production of prolactin, you will also be producing more testosterone. Testosterone is one of the main components that causes the deer to grow such large uh, bone formations on their head. The pedicle is the base of the antler. The pedicle is encased in an antlerogenic periosteum, and due to the testosterone increase, the antlerogenic periosteum begins to differentiate and multiply rapidly. The antlerogenic periosteum is also undergoing mineralization. Basically, the body is depositing calcium and phosphorus to harden the antler. This process is called intramembranous ossification, and it the, and the antlerogenic periosteum will harden and become cortical bone. Underneath the antlerogenic periosteum is the mesenchymal tissue. Mesenchymal tissue is basically a cartilage or soft bone that is then also goes under the same pro or similar process as the antlerogenic periosteum, but it goes through endochondrial ossification, which harden is harden. Wow, I can't talk hardens it to be the trabecular bone, which is a porous bone, so kind of like a bone marrow in like the center. This whole process is going on underneath a velvet covering. The covering carries oxygen and minerals, including calcium and phosphorus, to the bone through a superficial temporal artery. The growing process for the antlers is now coming to an end during the running or breeding season for the deer. This is when the testosterone reaches its max and it causes a restriction in the blood flow to the velvet, causing the velvet to die and needing to be scraped or rubbed off. Once the running or breeding season is over, the deer basically lose or decrease in the amount of testosterone running through their blood and stuff, so their body can't keep up with the antler, and they need to shed it. So basically, then they lose it. They don't even know because they don't even have nerves in there, but osteoblasts come in and kind of just break it down, and they do a little shake, and it kind of flies off.